Wagwan family, let's make some breakfast biscuits from scratch, not store bought, not um, you know, that blue tin brand that you all see. No. So first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 425. Then you want to get a cookie sheet or just non-stick parchment paper um, on a baking tray and set that aside so that when you're done weighing, um, mixing and everything with your dough, you can put that on and pop that in the oven for the 12 minutes you will make for. So you need 85 grams of unsalted butter, got that right here. You need 2 cups of flour, actually I will have all the ingredients listed in the description down below. Okay, so I know you don't see me using a um, measuring tool. I actually know what these measurements are because I have been baking for so long and I do a lot of formulas and recipes. So I can actually judge it and have it very accurately. So this is why I'm not using a measuring tool. Using measuring tools actually. So if you are not good at that, you know, you need to use your tools, which is fine. So with your butter the key to having a very flaky dough is to ensure that your butter and your milk is very cold so what i did with this stick of butter my 85 grams of butter is rest that stick in the freezer until i was ready to use it so it was very hard and it was gratable because you know if it's soft it would just get mushy and you couldn't grate it or whatever and it should also remain very cold remove my milk from my um fridge the moment I was ready to use it so I never had anything room temperature so at this stage you want to add that in gradually you do not want to overwork your dough you just want to have all of that combined it will look a little bit mushy but trust the process um, you will once you have your work area floured and dusted um you know it will come together very very nicely so trust the process it will look like this but you know trust the process so after the mixing stage you will then flower your where you're clean of course your clean work area with heavy dusting flour add your mushy wishy wishy dough on it and then you will work that gently and nicely so it becomes a tad bit more dense but not sticky don't be afraid to add your flour if it's a quarter pound of flour you end at the end that's totally fine once it is not sticky and once it is then incorporated nicely don't be afraid to flour your work area trust the process and they will come out good trust the process keep in mind a gentle um folding a gentle molding a gentle combining together don't be afraid to follow your surface over and over again so you can work freely without your dough you know sticking and all of that it's a very soft dough so be delicate you don't roll this with a rolling pin you actually spread it gently with your fingers you fold it to create layers and to create that flakiness and you know to have those beautiful layers so the butter you know does its magic in the dough and a lot of stuff science so anyways once you do that you spread this and you allow it to be one centimeter or one centimeter one inch thick <laughs> and then you cut out with your pastry cutter i did mine a little flatter than this but i then worked around it in the end i did another layer on top and it came out good very simple very easy to make and absolutely delicious So, or 
word of today is from Psalms 55 verse 22. Give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. And here we have our delicious, mm, as you can see, not all of them came out perfect, but the flavors, trust me, it was there and that's okay. This was my actual first time after formulating this recipe this was my first time making this but once you get your thickness correct you should you know you're guaranteed perfect looking biscuits but trust me it's all in the flavor try this recipe it's very simple anyone can make it anyone literally anyone can make it and you are sure to love it so try this recipe, let me know how you like it. Remember to follow my food page. The link is in the description down below. Leave a comment, click that subscribe button, share this video to a friend and tell them to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Thank you so much for your continuous support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, T's Kitchen.